What's up guys, Matt here again from The Maths Hero and today I'm back with another video and we are going to be looking at a new area of geometry. We're going to be starting our work on perimeter. So what is perimeter? Well, perimeter is the distance around a shape and distance is just a one dimensional quantity that's measured in things like centimeters, meters, inches, and kilometers and all different areas of measurement. So therefore perimeter is also a 1D quantity that's measured with these things like centimeters and inches, meters and kilometers. Let's have a look at an example. Let's have a look at a square. Now we know that a square has equal sides. So if one length is four centimeters, we know that all lengths must be four centimeters. So if we measure this, we've got four centimeters, add four centimeters, add four centimeters, and add four centimeters. Gives us a grand total of 16 centimeters. That's our perimeter. It's as simple as that. All we've got to do is measure around the outside of the shape. But stop, what do I mean exactly by that? Because there are many ways of measuring around a shape. We could draw a line around the square, that's gonna have one measurement, but I could draw a much bigger shape all the way around our square, and that's gonna have a different measurement. So we need a rule, and the rule is that we measure the shortest possible measurement. And in all cases, that is going to be measuring the lines themselves. So in this case, four, add four, add four, add four, gives us 16. But 16 what? That's right, centimetres. The units of measurement are very important. It's not elephants or cars, it's centimetres that we're measuring in here. Could have been miles, could have been inches, or any other form of measurement, but in this case, it's centimetres. And it's very important to say that because a square that's 16 centimetres in perimeter is very different to a square that's a mile or 16 miles in perimeter. Okay, so very, very important. We always put our units of measurement. We could go very wrong. So one way to think about the measurement is that we are going to be walking on the lines of our shape and the length that we walk is our perimeter. So if we start here in this corner and I walk all the way around the square, that gives me my perimeter, okay? Or another way of looking at it is if we take one of the corners and we unravel the corner and we stretch our line out into a straight line, given it its one dimensional property, which is why it's got the reference to the one dimension, then the length of that line is the length of our perimeter. Okay, so it's just like measuring the entire length around the shape. Great, so now we know what perimeter is, how do we measure perimeter of geometric shapes? Now, some shapes like circles or hearts or clouds are gonna be very difficult to measure the perimeter of because they're not straight lines or they have areas that are not straight lines, okay? And actually, in our next video, we're gonna be looking at how to measure the perimeter of a circle. But for now, we're gonna be looking at polygons. Polygons are shapes with straight lines, okay? So they're much easier to measure the perimeter, and it's where we're going to start. And it's pretty easy. If we are given the measurements of the sides, or the lengths of each side, then we can just simply add them up. Be careful to make sure that they're all in the same units, and we're not adding a meter to a centimeter, or something like that. But in general, all we need to do is add it up to get to our perimeter. So let's look at a few examples. Let's have a look at this triangle with sides of three, four, and five centimeters. So in order to find the perimeter, all I'm gonna do is add three, add four, which gives me seven, add the five, which gives me 12. So the perimeter of this triangle is 12. That's right, don't forget it, centimeters. Very important to make sure we use that unit. Now let's look at another example. Let's look at this rectangle. Now this rectangle has sides of five centimeters and a top and bottom length of 10 centimeters, okay? So it doesn't matter which order we start it in because we're gonna be adding them all together and we know that addition is commutative. It doesn't matter which way around we put them. So we can start anywhere. And I'm going to choose to start with the tens. I'm gonna add my two tens together, which gives me 20. Add my two fives together, which gives me 10. 20 add 10 equals 30 centimeters. Very good. Okay, cool, another example done. Let's have a little look at something a little bit harder. Let's have a look at an orange chili, okay? An orange chili challenge. So, sometimes you won't be given all the measurements and you've got to infer and decide what you think those measurements are based on the information you've already got, okay? So let's look at that same rectangle and let's take away some of those measurements. So if we have a top side of 10 centimeters, we know that that bottom length is also going to be you guessed it, 10 centimeters, okay? So we could put that in if they hadn't given it to us. And again, with the five centimeters, if one of the lengths is five centimeters, we know that the opposite length will be five centimeters based on the characteristics of a rectangle. 
Okay, so even though they weren't given to us in this example, we could infer and we could deduce those measurements ourselves using skills and using knowledge of rectangles. Okay, so that's an orange chili challenge. Now another example of an orange chili challenge, in my opinion, would be looking at regular shapes. Because regular shapes, if we know about geometry and we know about shapes already, regular shapes have two qualities which are the same. They're going to have the same angles and, importantly for us, they're going to have the same length side. So you might see sometimes on a test or on a question that you're given, a question where it has, tell me the perimeter of this shape. For example, this pentagon, which has a length of 5 centimeters, but it's not giving you the other length but it said in the question, this regular pentagon. So again, we're gonna use our information of shapes and understanding what we know about the word regular, that that length, therefore, is the same length for all the lengths on that shape. So we can use that five centimeters and add it to another five centimeters for the second line, another five centimeters for the third line, another five centimeters for the fourth line, and another five centimeters for the last and the fifth line, okay? So we're gonna do five, add five, add five, add five, add five. Okay, a little bit lengthy, we could learn at this point that we could also use multiplication because remember, multiplication is just repeated addition, which is what we just did then. We repeated the same addition. So instead of doing 5 add 5 add 5 add 5 add 5, we could simply do 5 times 5 because there's 5 lengths. Okay, great. Let's have a look at a red chili challenge, something even harder than that. So I'm sure you've seen shapes like this. This is called an irregular shape or a compound shape, depending on what your question is asking you. Now, problems like this come up all the time, okay? You're gonna see this very often in your math and in the real world. You might have measurements that you can see, but you might have missing measurements that you cannot. So you're gonna to have to use the information you've already got to help solve what you don't know already. Okay, so let's have a little look at this a bit closer. Let's take these two vertical lines, and at the minute, I've got a four and a three centimeters. So my missing number on the other side, it makes sense that if I just bring my two vertical lines across, then therefore that gives me that whole length. So this missing number is just a combination of the four and the three. Adding three and four together gives me seven, so therefore that missing length must be seven centimeters. Okay, so I've used that information on the other side to help me solve that missing number. Let's have a look at the horizontal. I've got a five and a three. So on my horizontals, I've got five and a three. If I bring them down to my missing number, so therefore that missing number is going to be again the combination of those two numbers. Five out of three is eight, giving me a total of eight centimeters. So this red chili challenge is as hard as it's gonna get with polygons, really. We've got mixed numbers, we've got the understanding of missing numbers, we've got the understanding of what perimeter means, and we've also, as a bit of a bonus, got the understanding that we could use multiplication sometimes, rather than just adding and adding and adding, if the number is the same, for example, in a regular shape. Okay, so I'm gonna put some examples on the board for you here, have a little look, Try and solve them. I want an answer for all five, please, in the comment section before you move on. If you get all five, great, fantastic. Move on to our next video. If you don't, stop, have a little look, go back in this video, see where you might have made a mistake and correct your errors. There's no point moving on if we're still making errors at this point. So it's really important to address them and get them ironed out right now, okay? Okay, if you got those right, that brings us to the end of the video, so well done for that. On our next video, we're going to be looking at how to work out the perimeter of circles. It's a bit challenging, so make sure we're really comfortable with this before we move on to that. So if you want to check that out, like and subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you very much, but for now, I am gone.